Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a closer look at this video surveillance system which has a 16 inches display and it's just awesome. If you want to check out the full unboxing experience, I will leave a link right over here. It is in Portuguese, but I do believe that it's a fun video. For those of you that don't want to watch that full video, inside the package you will find this really nice NVR which is at the same time a 16 inches display with one terabyte hard drive inside four cameras in this particular package all the adapters to power the cameras and also to power the monitor nvr one mouse one ethernet cable one antenna extension and a manual and if you search for tonton on the channel you will find a smaller setup with a screen of seven inches in this particular case 16 inches but the cameras are the same and the quality of the cameras is just great it's well built it's made of metal no plastics whatsoever with the exception of a small detail here and there they are waterproof it has infrared so we will be able to see at night time and i will show you in just a few moments right over here because this display can connect via HDMI so you will be seeing a really nice image today and I'll show you and guide you through the software they also have a light which can be triggered automatically with movements and sound alarm it also has sounds on both ways Oi. Oi. Olá, Olá, filho. Tás fixe? Sim. Ah, não Olá, Tim. Eu estou a te ouvir. Estou a te ouvir muito bem, sim. Sinto. The NVR has 16 inches, as I said, it's really well built. It's all metallic frame right over here. At the back, we will find the place for the hard drive, which the one coming in is one terabyte, but we can, of course, upgrade with other hard drive. It has the outputs right over here for Ethernet, HDMI output, also USB and the power input jack. It is a 16 inch, so this is the biggest system that I reviewed so far. It is a really nice display in terms of size. It's lacking one thing, which is a visa mount, but I believe that we can work around a do-it-yourself solution to hang it on a wall, which would be really cool. And it has two antennas of five dBs right over here, which seems really uh, enough for the system that it is. Now, let me show you where I've got the four cameras at this moment. And you can see by the image right over here, and I'll show you an image to help you understand a little bit better the distance. Now, the NVR is here at the office, as you can see, of course, obviously, but right over here on the basement floor. Now, this is also the basement floor, right over here. This is my office where I am at this moment right now. And the camera is here on the opposite side on a canopy that I've got right over here. So this is on the same floor. Of course, I've got one right over here on the office. So it's about three or four meters from me. And then I've got one here on the garage, which is on the uh, ground floor. So one floor above us, and this is where it is. And it is on the other side of the house. And then we've got on the, op the opposite side of the canopy. This is the canopy and the camera is right over here. And this one right over here is two floors above of where we are right now. So we can test out and the image is really nice. The signal is also nice. And in terms of visualization, we can use the display itself. We can also use the HDMI output if we want to connect via uh, another monitor. And let's say that you put this on a wall, you can just put a, a hole on the wall and put another display on the other side of the wall. We have a lot of scenarios. And then of course, we also have the app for iOS and Android, which we have seen a deep review on the last video. So I will not be approaching on this particular video, but the app is complete, really easy to use and probably the one that we'll be using more time. Now, besides Windows, which we have been using for quite some time, at this moment, we also have for Mac OS. So for those of you that have Windows, great. For those of you that have Mac OS, great. We can do on both platforms, which is great. Now, what I want to show you right now is the system right over here, which by the way, is the system that I've been using for the past four years with the system that I've got here at home and I really enjoy it. First of all, we have the split screen option where we, I can just have one camera, for example, or I can have 
um, eight cameras right over here this by the way has a limit of eight the package comes with four but we can purchase then another four or another two and we can add up i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check all that and more specifications and whatnot so this is one of the first options usually i leave it on the four view because i can have a great uh, view of the four cameras and then we have the video manage um, where I can see the cameras and I can add more if I want or I can remove cameras right over here then we have the system setup which basically will be the menu that we will need to configure time hard drive setup I don't need to set up anything right now it has a one terabyte capacity 109 gigs already used I can format it and then the error setup which are just options if I want to receive um, alarms if anything goes wrong record setup I've got everything enabled time motion and alarm um, we can just select motion and it will record only when there's motion or alarm I prefer to have time right over here and then I will show you in another menu what I mean by motion and alarm now if I go to network setup it will show me all the information about my network so no point in doing that because I will have to put a blank screen on top or a blur something like that now channel setup is where we have uh, a few options that are great now first of all we have the uh, bitrate resolution which is really nice as you can see resolution in terms of streaming so that we can have a better stream on other devices that we use because if the network is lower then we will have a nice resolution or acceptable resolution for a nice experience then we have the channel OST where we can select the title of the camera uh, if we want to write something else we have the option for light and color but we have another way of going um, there right over here and then we also have the connect quality which we can enable or disable and video detection is the option that I was uh, talking about if I want to have it enabled I can select here and PIR also over here also I can do something which is if I go to camera 3 which is this one here and if I go full screen and apply and press ok if i move right over here it will go automatically to full screen and then when it stops in terms of movement it will go back to the four um, uh, angles right over here so this is a really nice option so basically system setup we have all these options the spec and then we have the ipc upgrade if we want to add more cameras right over here and we can also see the bitrate that it's using at this moment then the system setup will show us uh, the options for the admin and if we want to use if we want to add users and so on and so forth so let's go back and we also have the video playback now the video playback is interesting now what we can see right over here is the full recording of the 24 hours i've been doing it for six days now uh, in a row so 24 7 and you can have an idea of the amount of space that it will require on the hard drive but what happens is that they will record here uh, on green as we can see sensor time and motion and I've got here on motion um, when it detects there is some kind of motion and at this moment uh, for example this morning I was preparing something to record on the backyard a solar panel if I go a little bit further right over here uh, you will see that I've removed the solar panel from here and put it right over here to take a few screenshots or a thumbnail for the YouTube video which <laughs> took almost the same time of recording the video but it is the fun of this is spending time like this so it is really easy to detect where there's motion if I go right over here for example it states that I've got motion on one of the cameras here I am doing something here on the computer um, and if I go I don't know right over here uh, oh, this is today. Let's go to yesterday, for example. Let's go to the 15th of February. Uh, if I go right over here, for example, that is movement on camera 3. Yes, it was me that was, uh, I don't know, eating something and on the phone. And right over here, when I was doing something on the computer, probably editing a video, stuff like that. Yeah, editing a video. I don't know if you heard something. But Another thing that might be important is the night vision. As you can see at this time, the office is completely shut down. So uh, the only thing that I've got right over here are a few 
uh, machines this monitor which was connected right over here and uh, on the outside as you can see everything dark if i go there i can't see anything but here with the infrared we can see everything the same with the garage which is always always um, in a dark environment and then here once again the image from the backyard so in my opinion the image quality is really nice during the day and also during the night so let's close right over here artificial intelligent uh, playback which honestly i prefer to be myself searching for things then we have the video backup which we can do a backup select which angles what time and then i can insert a usb drive on the back and press backup and it will copy everything that i did select to that um, hard drive then we have the volume right over here which we can enable or uh, lower then we have the setup wizard which is only necessary if we reset the system then we can go to the setup wizard and really quickly do all the options then we have the fast network which will give me the data of my network here on the screen so that i can with a qr code for example start the on my mobile phone and then we have the repeater option which is a nice option and i will explain you this really quickly uh, it's good when we don't have enough signal from one camera to the nvr at this moment all the cameras are connected to the nvr and the one that it's further away is the number two this one right over here but let's imagine that i wanted to connect a camera further away from the number two so what what i would use would be number two as an access point so i would press here and i would say okay i want to connect camera three to the camera two instead of directly to the nvr which is really far away so the cameras will behave like a wi-fi repeater on an access point which i can connect one camera to the other camera and the other camera to the nvr for a better signal so this is great i've been using this on my other system as well and works really really nice now let's move out right over here wireless add is just to add another cameras yes i want to continue basically that is it and then we have the exit system with log out reboot and shut down and guys this is it it is a really nice system in this particular video i was able to show you the software in detail if you want to see the software of the app i will leave a link right over here for the other system of tonton where i did show the app in more detail on another system so we can have a balance right over here the full system what we see in the app and then of course we have the option for windows for mac os which is really nice at this moment and that is it hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is huerto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one